Rashawn Halak. Hey, Coach. How are you doing? Doing all right. Um, it's a year ago tonight, the league shut down. Uh, what What do you recall about this last year and just being able to navigate through, you know, this pandemic? What are the things that you're going to remember about this time? Just a tough time for everyone, you know, for the whole world. And, you know, a lot of people lost a lot of loved ones. And um, we just try to get together. I mean, try to try to get through it together, you know, as best as possible. Uh, we know some tough times and um, the biggest thing, just sticking together, you know, doing what's right, trying to follow all the protocols that's necessary um, and, and kind of go from there. But, you know, there's a lot of tough losses, a tough situation for a lot of people. So just, you know, prayers is always going out to those families and friends and loved ones. Thanks. We'll go next to Andrew Gray. Hey, Ty. Just wondering if you had an update on Pat Beverly. Um, he has sore right knee for right now. Is this something where you, you already know that you're just out of precaution, leave him home off the road trip? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Thank you. And we will go next to Nick Hamilton. Hey, Coach. Uh, want to see what did you think about Lou Williams tonight and the way he played? It seemed like he was very fluid, uh, especially coming off the bench tonight. Yeah, Lou was good. You know, um, got to a shot. Um, you know, he's a professional scorer. So, you know, you don't want five or seven, having 14 points. I mean, he's a good spark for us to off the bench. And um, that's, what we need him, that's what we need him to do every night, you know, just coming off the bench. Bringing that spark, either you know, creating for someone else or creating for himself. And tonight, he was able to get 14 points in only what 20 minutes or four, 14 points in 14 minutes. So, um, you know, a point per minute. So that's, that's pretty good. Thanks, coach. Next, we'll go to Miriam. Hey, Ty. Um, wanted to ask about Serge. Obviously, he had a big game. Um, but what do you like about him as a tone setter for you guys? I'm sorry, I couldn't understand the last part. What, what do you like about him as like a tone setter for you guys? No, I thought he was great. You know, I thought he really set the tone early. We said that tonight when we brought it in, you know, at the end of the game, that he really did a good job of setting the tone. I thought, you know, rebounding the basketball. He had a couple jump shots early. I mean, he had a couple, you know, big finishes for us in the second half. So, um, you know, having 14 rebounds, you know, is great and huge for us. So um, he did a great job, like I said, of setting the tone early, you know, making a few shots. It kind of got us going on first one on first one. Thanks. We will go next to Law. Hey, Ty. Uh, you mentioned before that this team plays great in the third quarter of games. Uh, this was the highest score in third quarter all season, 45 points. That's hard to do, especially against a team playing as well defensively as Golden State was. Uh, in general, how are you feeling about these third quarters? And specifically, uh, what what happened that the team like got to stretch that lead so so much in the third period? Um, you know, I think it's a it's a thing with all great teams. You know, when you want to be great, you know, I think that third quarter really sets the tone. You know, the first half is kind of a fill out, and then that third quarter you just come out. You know, I think defensively is and setting the tone defensively, and uh, we did that. I thought we did it all night long, and um, things we've been working on. Um, I've seen improvement. You know, I saw us improve on the small, small pick and rolls. Um, defensively with our blitzes, I thought we did a good job on Steph, um, just trying to corral and keep it out of his hands. Um, didn't turn the ball over number eleven times tonight. Um, did a good job of turning that ball. Over. They turned it over 16 times for 24 points for us. And then having 15 fast break points. I don't know the last time we had that. So just things we've been talking about, things we've been working on, um, seeing some improvement on it. So we just got to keep improving, you know, day to day. Thanks. We'll go next to Mason. Hey, Coach. Um, you guys went into that zone pretty early on. Um, what went into that decision to, to zone up? And obviously it worked pretty well. What was working for you with that? I'm um, just watching the film and um, just talking through it with the coaches. And, you know, last time we played, you know, Pascal had a pretty good game um, against Zoo. You know, it's a tough cover for Zoo. So we knew going into the game, one step, step up the floor, and they brought Pascal in. Um, we wanted to play a lot of zone and kind of keep Zoo in the paint, and let it protect, keep him in the hole. And um, it was good for us tonight. So, um, you know, it was something we discussed, you know, going back to the second game we played him in Golden State. Appreciate it. Thanks. We'll go next to Farbad. 
Hey, coach, in that uh, first half of the game, PG attacks the rim, gets, you know, he gets right into the paint three times, doesn't get a single foul in the entire first half in the free throw line. And you could see him starting to get frustrated. Uh, what, what do you tell a player in that moment? Because you could see the entire team is starting to get frustrated about the lack of calls in that first yeah. half. How do yeah, you settle just, them down? Just had to call a timeout and just say, just keep our composure. Like the referees, um, they're not doing it intentional. We had a couple of fouls that we got away with as well. Um, PG had two fouls and he kind of chopped across the guy's body for his third in that first half, but they didn't call it. So, I mean, you know, it's just part of the game. We got to keep our composure, you know, play through it. And that's all we kept saying in the timeouts is just, you know, play through the officiating, you know, play through everything. Let's just keep our composure. And I thought we kind of, you know, did that, you know, later on in that third quarter. Thanks. We'll go to Justin Russo. Hey, Coach. Uh, pre-game, you said you wanted to get the ball to the middle of the floor in order to spray out for some threes. Tonight, you guys had 23 assists, 41 three-point attempts. Overall, did you like the performance of the offense tonight, getting the ball to the middle of the floor? Yes, I did. You know, I thought we did a good job of getting the ball to the middle of the floor. Like you said, they're, they're a great team at protecting the paint. And I also thought we did a great job in our small, small pick and rolls. And they were showing, we were able to hit our guys. And those guys able to get down here and make a play for somebody else. So um, I love seeing that improvement in that area because we're going to need that going down the stretch. Um, so um, I did see you know, some good things. And like I said, we just got to keep getting better at it. Last question will go to Dan Wykey. Hey, Ty, good to see you. Um, congrats on the win. Uh, I kind of, I, not a game related question. Um, I'm curious how different um, are the practices that you run now as a coach from the ones you participated in as a player? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and what, you trying to like, get me in trouble? You trying to get me in trouble, man? <laughs> Come on. As much as you can describe what it used to be like, um, I would be appreciative. Well, I'll just tell you this. When I first came in, um, we had 32 a day. So you do, you, you, you go from there. So, um, you know, it's different. The game is different. The science is different. The sports science is different. And, um, you know, we didn't shoot as many threes. You know, I've seen the centers didn't shoot threes when I came in the league. So the game has changed. And, um, you know, the best thing is just trying to make sure these guys stay healthy and, um, you know, kind of go from there. Because, you know, a lot of guys when I played before me and around my time, they can barely walk now because I guess the, all the hard practices and all this, you know, stuff like that. So um, it's a big difference, but, you know, it's the world we live in now. Thanks, Ty. Yes, sir. Thanks, Ty. Have a good night.